Hello, my friends. Uh, welcome to my channel. This is uh, Nelson Saravia. So, uh, this is my first video tutorial. I want to talk about dynamic picture offset. Um, I was looking for this kind of information on the internet, but I couldn't find any good one. So, and uh, I decided to share this information with you guys. I hope you guys like it. Uh, so, let's talk about it. Okay, so this is uh, an example here. Let's say we're gonna program this part. So, you know, you specify at what distance this part is located on the Z. So in this case, I have it at two inches above the center of rotary. So this, this is for um, a Moriseiki NMB 3000. This is the machine that we're gonna use in this case. Um, it's for five axis machine. So I think maybe every manufacturer may have uh, this uh, feature, the dynamic feature offset. Um, so the variables that we're gonna use will change. It depends on the manufacturer of your machine. So, but in this case, we're gonna use the Moriseiki NMB 3000, five axis. So we have this bar here. Uh, it's located at two inches above the Z. Um, so the first time you're gonna set this up on your five axis, uh, it's gonna be pretty, pretty close to, to two inches, right? So everything's gonna work just fine. But let's say you break the setup and you wanna set it up again. And the next time you do it, it's not two inches anymore. Let's say it's 2.5. Just an example, 2.5. So what are you going to do? You can go back to your uh, CAM software and repost it. But let's say you made changes to that program. You change some feeds, change the spindle speeds, or you did, you, you did um, spring passes, or who knows, whatever you you know so let's say you did a lot of changes and and you repost it again you're gonna have to go through those problems again so with the dynamic fixture option you can use the same program either your part even though your part is 500,000 um, um, more on your uh, Z okay so this is uh, how your program will look. This is an example. So this is just a video tutorial. Um, I'm not responsible for any damage that you could cause to your machine. So this is um, educational purpose only. So this is the way it's gonna look. Okay, so as you can see right after your tool change, to 1M6, we have these uh, variables, pound 5521 equals 000, same thing here, same thing here. So the first one for the X, second one Y, third one's for the Z. This is the one that I use the most, my Z. Okay, so on this one, you're gonna put those extra 500,000. So your part is now 2.5 on the Z direction instead of two. So you're gonna input the difference right here. If it's negative, if it's 1.5, this is gonna be minus. This will be minus 0.5. But in this case, let's say it's positive 500,000. Then you're gonna activate, you preset it first and then you activate it. 
Okay, so using this this uh, G code G54.2 P1. Okay, then it wrap it out to position. Okay, in this case we're gonna do a drill cycle. So right after it finish the drill cycle, it goes home, and then you put the same variables, but now we're gonna zero it out. We're gonna put everything back to zero, and then we're gonna cancel the dynamic picture offset using G54.2 P0. So basically, you're, the way it works is you're telling your machine, okay, my par is not two inches anymore above the Z. Now it's 2.5. That's just by doing this, that's what basically you're telling your machine. And uh, it'll, so in this case, it'll go 2.616, right, to drill the first hole, B minus 90, C zero. But it's not going to go this, it's not going to go just this, it's going to go this amount plus 500,000. And you might be asking yourself, okay, but you're saying it's 500,000 more on the Z. Why is going to move also 500,000 on the X? Because it automatically compensates on the X direction also. So you're telling your uh, machine that is 500,000 more on the Z. But when it's going to drill the hole, your Z become X. So it also compensated. It compensates with 500,000 on the X also. So that's the way it works, guys. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I hope you guys like my video. Uh, and uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.